Hi there, it's Sam from poodles.co.uk. Thank you very much for joining me today. Today's project is this one. It's a teeny tiny little bag and it's super cute. It would make a charming little favour. Put little sweeties in here, maybe tiny toiletries, little things like that, or maybe a voucher folded up. Um, but they're very sweet and it's only using six by four inch paper, 15 by 10 centimetres. Not very big at all. Okay, let me get a scrap of grid paper to put under my card. Rip a sheet off and I'm going to stamp all over it. So I'm using Dainty Delight. Now this pairs with um, Dainty, Dainty Flowers which are celebration that's celebration paper and celebration ends on the 28th so only a few days left. Um, these are the ones I used before on this project and I'm going to take this pattern here or this shape here and just stamp all over okay uh, I used cherry cobbler on my first one but I'm going to go with starry sky for this one because it's a really nice blue and I can get a colour bleed going really quite well with Wink of Stella which is what I'm going to do afterwards so I'm just randomly stamping everywhere um, I did this on a project ooh, a, year, a week or two ago I don't remember when and I love to do random stamping um, I love it because every project comes out different and no two are the same and I love it because it's kind of it's kind of therapeutic isn't the right word but you can just happily stamp and just have fun so what I'm going to do now is I've got my wink of Stella let me zoom in for you whoops wrong way and I'm just washing over those tops. Now I'm not trying to pick out individual bits. I'm really just washing over just to get a change of colour. Which hopefully you can see there's a little difference in colour. Um, and yeah, just by washing over it with my Wink of Stella, the colour is going to bleed. This works best with dark inks. Yes, Sorrel, who's shouting at me from down the landing. Um, it works best with dark colours. You get the best effect, I should say. From Yes, I don't know if you can hear her. But you get the best effect from a dark colour. Um, hence why I used Cherry Cobbler on this one. Because hopefully you can see the colour bleed there just on those little buds. I did go more detailed with those. So they were that little bit bigger. Um, but this is sort of a almost a watercolour wash effect and again much like the random stamping I mean this is something that you can do in front of the TV um, I don't do much crafting in front of the TV these days what I would normally do would be customer thank you cards and gifts I'd do those in front of the TV because you know I might have 200 punch outs to do um, but if you were to do you know if you were making these en masse as favours and you had I don't know 100 to make for a wedding you could just pop this, you know, stamp your piece of card stock, perhaps on a flat surface like a desk, and then, you know, get a tray. I would have a big dining tray and just do this sort of thing, propped on my knee, watching the telly. Right. Just zoom back out a bit. Okay, maybe a bit more. There we go. Okay, so that is stamped and done. And while I've got everything here, let me find a bit of basic white. A couple of things, a couple of phrases. Thank you for your kindness. Sending love during the season of growth. Celebrate you and the best is yet to come. So I like that one, the best is yet to come. I just think it's a nice, sweet little phrase. Because um, you never know what's around the corner. You never know what's coming. that's a very shouty cat out there <sighs> so with a long pair of scissors I'm just going to cut straight off there and then while I've got my punch I want the flowers and leaves punch and actually I want the smaller flower 
down at the bottom. Oh, for goodness sake, she's very grumpy about something. I'm just going to get hold of that and then one of these large, these are adhesive backed milky dots. And from my, okay, this just flown across the table. For my original project, I just coloured them with, I, I coloured four of them with Cherry Gobbler. Sorrel? Oh, she's got a toy. She likes springs, special cat springs. And um, she'll get one in her mouth, run around the house and tell everybody she's got it. Right, let's score. I haven't made this, but so she's going to come and tell us shortly that she's got it. Okay, so on we're going to start on the short side. So it's six by four inches, 15 by 10 centimeters. On the short side, I'm going to score it at one inch, um, two and a half centimeters. Then on the long side, I'm going to score it at one, two and three quarters, three and three quarters, and five and a half inches. And in metric, that is two and a half, seven, nine and a half, and fourteen. Okay. So just burnish this all up. This is just basic white cardstock. And then down at the bottom, you can probably see it better. I've got two squares, two rectangles, and a skinny rectangle. I'm going to take out the skinny rectangle to start with. And then cut straight on the squares. And I'm going to get some tear and tape. She is, she's got the toy, I can hear it. She gets it in her mouth and shouts round it. Anybody else got cats like that? Fauna plays fetch. And Sorrel gets toys and tells everybody. So I've just sealed up the side, fold in two sides and the back. And put some tape on there. Fold that over and then just pinch in the sides. And because this is quite small, um, you're not going to get any creasing whatsoever. And I'm going to get one of my library clips to close it up at the top. And that's quite sweet, isn't it? Just dinky. <laughs> these bits. Oh. Sorrel! <laughs> I'm really sorry. I try to be as professional as possible. <laughs> the cat's out there shouting her head off. So, right, I'm going to get that flower and I'm just attaching it just by that top corner so you can still read the words. So it's just, well, you can't at that angle, so you can just see the words. And then I'm going to get some more of these little dots and just kind of fill in gaps. So I'm going to take a big one. And if I can pick it up, there we go. And a couple of little ones. And those, I think, are lovely little projects. Like I say, little... <laughs> little table favours. You could put maybe some coffee sticks in there. Little tiny toiletries, little sweeties. Anything like that. I just think they're adorable. Thank you ever so much for joining me. And the noisy cat. I think I need to go and find out what she's done with the toy. Speak to you very soon. Bye.